wiring on the uh, bridge, which I wired. We have it so that we have two separate relays. One reacts with the lasers and one reacts with the um, the safety system on the bridge. When that when the bridge will come up, it'll um, flip a limit switch and turn the uh, green light to red and pull out the um, the safety system stopper things. And then the lasers are also wired on a loop circuit, which will be active via our, um, our sailboat or our tall boat, which has two different reflectors on it. One to continuate the laser on the bottom here, and one to trip the one on the top. You'll see it work a couple seconds. Kind of slow. Explain why it trips it. Oh, it's tripping it because these um, both of these lasers are normally open instead of normally closed. We don't know why they won't go normally closed. It's um, some kind of electrical problem or something we don't understand. So we have to have it so that the normally open is only when it's touching the um, when the laser is complete. So you have to have a reflector on top of the boat. Now down here, it is normally open and it has to be cut to close the bridge, as it'll do right there. The pistons are on the um, the same relay as the uh, lights are so that whenever the red light is triggered, the pistons go out to stop the traffic. The reason we used two separate relays is um, we could have used one, but we, we started wiring the parts, in, like, the parts of the bridge in, in different sections. We first started off with the safety system, and then once that was complete, we moved on to the more complex part, which was the lasers. The limit switch, the only reason that the, um, the lasers don't actually trip any of the safety system there's a uh, limit switch underneath the um, bridge, which you can see right there. It just got lifted up, so now it's on red. So it has a normally um, a normally closed for green and a normally open for red, and it's normally open right now. So it's allowing the safety system to be fully activated, and now if the bridge comes down, it clicks it and turns it back to green. And that's underneath the bridge right there, and we have a counterweight underneath the bridge. It's not a it's not a normal counterweight, but the reason we have it there is because there's so much pneumatic pressure already in the system that we need something a little heavier to help push it out. The pulley system we had, we had to figure a way how to move the bridge up a good amount so that the bridge could pass under it without hitting it. So what we had to do is we had to take the, take the string that we were using to pull, pull, it, or to pull the bridge up, and we had to increase the diameter of the pulley so that we could maximize our lift on the bridge. 